Hey everybody, and welcome to part 12 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. In the last episode, we finished off Mystic Marsh and beat... Um, what the hell is the other place? Shady Oasis. Well, it's so now we're opening this. Yeah, 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 I know. Let me just move my laptop over so I can see a little better. So let's go do Cloud Temples, one of the last three levels of this world. And we're at 88% done the game. Also, I have a bunch of flies attacking the TV screen. But you're starting to piss me off. <laughs> Damn warlocks and their creepy ass sheep magic. So, our main objective. Just defeat them, get the wands back for the, uh, I don't really know what they are, wizards? I'm gonna assume they're wizards. I believe this place has three orbs. One for getting to the ending, one for ringing all three bells, and then one for doing probably one of the more annoying orbs in the entire game. Aw, uh, poor little sheep guy. I don't know, I always found this level to have a really nice concept, but was ne- Damn it. It was never really used that well, you know? Yeah, he had a lava rock inside him. Don't know where he got it from. Because that's clearly a fire, not lava. So I have no clue where he picked up the lava rock. And Sparks, can you actually pick up the money, sir? Oh, come on. No, no, no. No, nah, nah. I'm still gonna kick your ass, you little fricker. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Oh. Oh god, I camera angle keeps screwing with me, I swear. The music here kind of reminds me of Spiral 1. I don't know, these the Spiral games have like a constant theme between their music for like the entire series. So you'll see, you'll hear a lot of similar soundtracks. But, you know, between the three games. Like I believe the final level of Spyro 3 is actually the same music as the final level of Spyro the Dragon. You know, the first game in the series. Oh, I thought he was good in a like, position to say something. It's like, what are they gonna say to me now? There we go. Another wand. Please destroy that barrier, my good sir. Oh, he's creating a fireball. Okay, wall destroyed. Hey, what's the fodder here? Oh, well, never mind. We've got a life. 36 lives. We should have, what, 37 because I accidentally died once? Oh, there's a sheep. Just a random sheep over there. Ah, this looks like the ending of the level. Man, see, this level is also not very big. Whoa. God, it reminds me of the guys who was trying to be Gandalf the Grey in Crash 3. You know, Crash Bandicoot warped. Fireball! Sweet. Okay. Oh, th I guess the fodder's all down here and all turned to stone. Let's go in here first before we do anything else. Oh, there's some random big money. And remember, now we don't have to ever backtrack anywhere, so we don't have to worry about not completing a level. Get out of here! Oh wait, that's the ending over there. Let me guess, just another fireball to destroy another gate. Exactly. Man, that's such a long away, uh, long ways away area, you know. And lots of mountain goats, sheep. Frick, I got stuck. Wait, wait, what did I take damage from originally to get me down to blue? I don't remember hitting anything. These guys didn't hit me, did they? One of the warlocks. And there we go, he is defeated. There's literally nothing here except for this guy. Spyro, you have freed our city from the claws of those evil warlocks. Please take this orb. I foresee that it will help you on your journey. Well, obviously, I need to collect them. Thank you very much. Fifty-five orbs. Not too shabby. Well, now let's go down here and do some other shenanigans. Now let's hope we can deal with this one difficult challenge. This guy without having to um, do it more than once because 
Well, we want to try and get two levels done around the 20 minute mark. We don't want to, you know, have like a 30 minute video. Actually, can I have some help from you guys? Thank you. Um. Next thing, this guy. Our mystical bell towers have been overrun by trolls, and the bells haven't been rung in days. I tried a fire spell on the trolls, but it just made them crazier. Ah. Super free. Difficulty five stars? Really? I don't find this challenge five stars, and it's kind of interesting because this is one of the only times you'll ever see an ice power up in Spyro. Like, he eventually gets ice breath in later Spyro installments, but he doesn't actually ever get to use this attack. Like, shoot snowballs. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. I don't think this will help me get up there, will it? No, this won't help me get up there. So I need you. Oh, well, that was delayed, but it should work. Just have to get over here. And we just need you, pardon me, to get over here. And then you just charge into the bell, and then you ring it. And now, does that open up another... Can I, like, move you over or something? No, I can't. And that fly that's been flying around my screen... It's really starting to piss me off. He can go away. You know exactly. Oh. Well. Apparently. Apparently now there's an enemy here. Frick. Can I like break you out for a second? Okay, you can break them out. This is very delayed. Bruh. Okay, we don't want them up all the way. Maybe like that? Nope. God darn it, that's not going to be good there either. Shoot! See, like I said, this... I don't think this really deserves to be a 5-star challenge, but it is frustrating nonetheless. See, because technically right here we're halfway done. I suppose you want an orb for doing that. Well, I'm afraid not. There's still one bell left. You can get to it by using the whirlwind behind me. For a minute, he sounded like Nicolas Cage. But no, he did not voice act in this, so... Okay, so, first of all, we need this guy. No. We need you to get like that. And then, like that. That wasn't difficult that was at all. Spyro. I didn't think you could do it. Here, have a souvenir from the Mystic City gift shop. Don't doubt, Spyro, you fool. And thank you. But, I think I still need to get up there. Because I'm pretty damn sure... There are gems up here, yeah, there are. And the rocket's also up there. So we do need to come up here. Pretty interesting they do, eh? Okay, we need that enemy to come around again. There we go, perfect spot. I just got a tickle. And now I just gotta wait for our power up to run out so then we can flame this. There we go. And now let's use it. Well, use it. I mean, go down here and get this. Ooh, a 25. Don't mind if I do, game. Hey, bro. I'm a secret agent. I'm going to my secret hideout. Only members of my secret club are allowed to go there. I'm not leaving unless you hide behind that tree so you can't see me. <laughs> okay, difficulty four. This one should have been the difficulty five. The other one should have been difficulty four, but whatever. So you'll have to follow him. But you can't let him see you, and he will turn around. So as long as you're hiding behind the objectives, you're fine. Live Hill... Yeah, okay. Don't bother getting the gems until you're done, because he'll also open up the area completely. Okay, so far so good. Apparently you can't hear the loud gem collection that we have going on here. Shit! Okay, I got distracted by three flies flying around my screen. 
And I believe if you stray too far behind, he'll actually... Uh, you'll end the mission because you're too far away. I knew I was going to fail right at the ending. Eh, one fail here and there. It's not like life-threatening either. I don't know if we're allowed to flame. That's another thing. I like how this is like some... Like he's Agent Zero. It's like 007 shit going on here. Okay. Oh, lordy dordy. Sh what? How did you... How did he see me? I didn't realize he was going to the other tree. My bad. Woo. You gotta be really quick about this, too. All this just to get into some stupid secret club that some guy named Agent Zero made because he's probably not really a secret agent. He's just a wannabe agent. Damn fool. Okay. Alright, so now we'll just take our time here. Wait for him to run. Okay, we'll go right here. Please don't see me. Yo, dude, I found your secret base. What? You managed to get here without following me? You must be a member of my secret club after all. Here, take this secret decoder. It will allow us to send secret messages. I can't tell if he's supposed to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger with that voice or if he's supposed to be stupid. But either way, he is pretty stupid. He doesn't even know who's part of a secret club. Okay, now we just gotta finish collecting the gems. We should have, what, 5100 after this? Still missing a bit, but not that bad. I think that we missed some along this pathway. You know, due to the fact that we were on a mission and all. Actually, we don't need that many gems, only 20. And these could be two tens for all we know. And it is! So let's leave Cloud Temple and then go to one of the other last two levels. Uh oh, what's gonna happen to the Warlock? Oh, he got turned into one of those goat things. Ah, revenge is a dish best served cold. Or in this case, sheepy. Wait, so we're gonna have 5,900... 59? Yeah, we're gonna have 5,900 gems by the time we're done the game. It seems like a weird amount to have, but... Whatever. Anyways, let's go to... I'm gonna say Robotica Farms. Robotica Farms sounds like a good option. Here we go. This looks like Zephyr all over again. Hey, Zephyr, long time no see. And here we go. Entering level now. Damn, those bugs came back with a vengeance. So yeah, what we have to do here? Defeat the bugs. It's really about it. I believe there's... Oh, there's three orbs. I thought there was four, but... Then again, I only remember three challenges, so... <laughs> Makes sense to only have three orbs. Ah, one of the... This is like Spyro 1 all over again. Okay, let's continue on through our adventure. Wait, through our adventure? That made no sense. Oh god, these bugs in here. Every time I turn off the lights to record, I get swarmed by these flies, because you know they're attracted by light, apparently. I didn't know they were moths, but I think my girlfriend have had issues with them for a while now. Die, you stupid bug. It's just fitting to do a level where I'm killing bugs while dealing with bugs. So head bash into this enemy, and then head bash into him again. Don't get why that's called head bashing, but... Still think that should be called head smash. 
Whoa, did not see that be there until it was almost too late. What the? That damn windmill clipped me off. And apparently I'm falling down. Now there is an annoying... Okay. I'm just getting bad at this. I'm recording this really late too. So I might be off my mojo. But, um... There is a really annoying to get orb here as well. It's not bad if you're lucky. The other two aren't honestly that bad. So let's just collect all these goodies. And let's see, what else do we have to do? Just collect some more gems. Not very many enemies in this little area. At least seesaw things, you just have to be quick to get to the other side. Kind of self-explanatory there. Also, there is a bee. Goodbye, Beezer. Beezlebub. Yeah, his name is now Beezlebub. Satan Bee from Hell. And that turned that turned dark real quick. Man, what is your guys' worst experience with a bug? Uh, mine would probably be when I was at uh, in elementary school. I think it was grade four or grade five. It was one of my last two years there, at least. And I had this weevil on my back, and my like I guess schoolyard supervisor was too terrified to take it off, so she was just letting it crawl on me. And it's just crawling up the back of my neck and then into my hair, and it's like, useless. You can't even get rid of a bug, because I couldn't reach it at the time. So it's like, it's like, you know, you can literally just kill it, right? But for some reason, she was bent on letting it stay on my head, and it was just like, you know what? No. So anytime I would see a weevil uh, around my house or anywhere near there, I would just go and kill them all, just because, you know... It kind of left me scarred with it crawling up the back of my neck like that. Alright, what is your guys' favorite game in the Spiral franchise? I'd honestly have to say Spiral 3 is my favorite. Spiral 3 is a great game. Pretty solid, nice challenges, lots of collectibles. It takes a little bit longer than the other Spiral games. You die. And it's just, overall, it's a really good concept too. Some really nice level designs. You name it. Oh, another bee! Oh, man, so many beezlebubs today. Like, honestly, the game was designed so well, and it'll be nice to play it for you guys. Though, I'm not gonna play it right away, because I also want to do Spiral 1. At some point. Not anytime soon, because, you know, we don't want to get stale at the games. Plus, you guys also really want to see Sly Cooper, so... Why not play that for you guys, too? And die! Death to the beetle. I am also not a huge fan of beetles. Darn it. Alright, let's do this. Woohoo! While he's spinning, I just do that to be careful. You know, be extra cautious. Oh, that was perfect! No, oh, I can almost not get on this. Because of the way I positioned it. Wait, how the hell did that happen? This music here is kind of unique. Doesn't sound like any other Spyro track, so that's kind of nice to have a completely unique rendition. You know, not like a remix or anything like that. Then again, this also sounds like it could be from like one of the areas like in the middle of the game. You know, back with like Skilo's Badlands and that type of area. That could also be the case, I'm not sure. But anyways, let's talk to this guy. Wait a go, Spyro. Them varmints won't be coming near our crops now. Can I offer you a reward? Uh, yeah, an orb, please. Thank you. Now, for the second orb, what we have to do is we have to clear out all those pumpkins and, oh yeah, the vase. I was wondering when that was going to make its comeback. Like, it was all over World 2. It was nowhere near, near anything in level in World 1, and then all of a sudden... It's not here either. So there's gonna be like a level or two with it in. Shoot. Oh, I even missed that. Are you serious? Are you serious? I can't believe I did that. Shoot, I missed the elevator. I'll be back for you someday, elevator. I'm gonna take this whirlwind. Hey, sweet. Oh my god, it's down by the other farmer. Alright, let's take the supercharge again. 
Whoa, what the, what the hell was that? Like, it just jerked off to the side and then stopped supercharging. Oh, maybe the controller's square button wasn't held down any longer? I don't know. Like, I'm clearly holding it down. Woohoo! We're gonna have to do some backtracking on this route as well. You know, to clear off, or to get all the gems. Woo! And there we go. Fine piece of steering that was, Dragon. Here, take this thingamajig I found in the cow pen. Cows. First of all, where are the cows, and where did you get a name like Barley Corn? Do you grow barley and corn, or, or what's going on here? Woo! I'm just here to collect the gems now. Don't mind me going on the supercharged path without the supercharge. I'm a rebel. Woo! Yeah, but it's decent-sized gems here too. It's not just little ones like ones and twos. It's like fives and stuff. Oh, these are going to be twos. I jinxed it. Now, I do need the supercharge again by the looks of it to get that, um, that crystal. You know, the one with the gems in it. Oh, man. Wait a minute. I missed some gems over here. Remember to look everywhere, guys. And oh, Shoot. Gotta go up here still. Alright, let's go break that. Oh, shoot. God, tootin'. God darn tootin'ness. Rootin' tootin'ness, cowboy of them all. Sheriff Woody! Wait, what the hell was that? Why did it, like, double jump and then just... Oh my god, I hate the supercharge with a passion. Something about it is just really, really glitched. I did it again. He just misses it every damn time. Anyways, we might as well try and get our last orb. And that requires us to kill these bugs. Apparently we killed two for one. That's very interesting. Yeah, okay, now this just leaves one more. There we go, we got them all. Safe from those flying vermin, Spyro. Take this doodad I done dug up yesterday. Well, thank you for your doodad you done dug up yesterday. And that's our third and final orb for this world. Now we just need to get the gems. I actually made it on the elevator in time. Exactly what's on this elevator? The rocket. There was a rocket. That's the only thing up there. I was like, is it going to come down or not? Okay, now this thing, now if you use Sparks' ability, it will track where this mystery vase is. Then I get why it's called a mystery vase, because clearly we all know what's in it. Only gems. There's nothing else in it. And Sparks is terrible at tracking in this. He says it's over there, but I'm pretty darn sure. Yeah, see, it's not really over there. It's in here, at the very beginning. And there we go. Robotica Farms is also complete, so that just leaves one last level in the final boss. So, without further ado, let's exit the level. Oh my god, they're just purposely killing innocent bugs. Eh, no one's gonna miss them. No one likes bugs anyway. There we go. So anyways, in the main game finale at least, we will be going to the last level of the game, Metropolis. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.